in another version of the Cherokee legend, an old grandfather tells a similar story to his grandson who came to him with anger towards a friend who had wronged him and done an injustice to him. The grandfather noted that he felt a great hate for those that have taken so much with no sorrow for what they had done. Then he continues to say, listen to this, hate wears you down and does not hurt your enemy. Hate wears you down and does not hurt your enemy. It is like tasting, taking poison and wishing your enemy would die. You're the one who took the poison, but you're, you're wishing your enemy would die. See, the other wolf is full of anger. The little thing will set him into a fit of rage. He fights everyone all the time for any reason at all. Nakanti mo lang ng konti. Ano ba? Laban tayo. Yan. I used to be like that. Somebody would look at me weird and I'm like, what's up? What do you want? Di bagay, no? Ganun yung tura ko nun. Basta bulero. What you want? E nung tinignan ako ni Mrs. Ay, I want. Yes. Ayan. You see, it says here, the other wolf is full of anger. His helpless anger, it is helpless anger because his anger will not change anything. It's actually self-destructive. You see, Satan is very cunning and he knows your hot buttons. He hits, he hits you when you're tired, hungry, frustrated, exhausted. It's amazing how the spirit works because as uh, uh, our dear sister Grace was leading worship today, I was like, wow, she's preaching my message. Maybe I don't have to speak anymore and go next door. No, I'm just teasing. But yeah, she was already preaching the message. When you are cramming for your finals, kids, and finals week this week, suddenly there's a party that you just have to be at. Right? When, you're, when you just had a quarrel with your spouse, suddenly there's that person who gives you attention. Oh. When you, you have not seen or heard the answer to your prayer, suddenly there's that doubt in your mind whether God hears or whether you're worthy of His time and attention. When you're working on paying off your debts and living in a budget, suddenly an unexpected expense comes along. Ayan, nag sa Michael Kors. Patay kang bata ka. Ayan. Dumabas yung Apple ano yun? watch. Patay kang bata ka. Ayan. And then suddenly the latest games came out, latest book, latest trinket, latest toy, latest fashion. Brothers and sisters and kids, these are not emergencies. Okay? It's someone's birthday! And you forget it's their birthday. Birthday mo na naman? I think that comes once a year, right? <laughs> so now you have, you have to look for a gift for them and it costs so much. Yeah. Speaking from experience, I still have to buy my wife a gift for next week. <laughs> ba gusto mo mahal? See, someone having something nicer, better, bigger than what you have does not mean you're less of a person than he or she is. Sometimes we act like spoiled kids, throwing a tantrum at God for not hearing or answering our prayer when we want it, when we want it, the way we want it. But see, if God is good, faithful, and true, and He is, amen, then does he change when you get falling grades? Does God change when we've broken our loved one's trust? Does God change when we are angry and frustrated at people or even at him? Does God change when we don't have enough money? Thankfully, God does not. He is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. His grace, love, and mercy is not based on how I feel today, it is based on the finished work of Christ on the cross. Amen? Hallelujah. Listen, I get it. I get it. We are not perfect. We make bad choices. 
Obviously, I've made some bad choices in the past weeks. I lost so much, and then in the Philippines, I ate so much. They almost charged me double on the plane. <laughs> Excess baggage, sir. <laughs> yeah, I get it, right? We make mistakes. You see, God gets it too. That's exactly why Jesus became a man and died on the cross. To give us the freedom that we need. Freedom from the desires of our flesh. Freedom from the punishment of sin. That is why we have the choice today. We could choose darkness and despair. Which leads to suffering both here on earth and in eternity. Or we can choose light and hope. Light and hope. We can choose the path of righteousness because good things will follow us. That's the promise of God. Good things will follow us all the days of our life. It is a result of walking with God and abiding in His presence. Then as we abide in His presence, He equips us through the gifts and the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Going back to that story, the original Cherokee legend, the wolf of light and hope is full of good. It describes this wolf as having joy, peace, love, hope, serenity, humility, kindness, benevolence, that's generosity, empathy, generosity, truth, compassion, and faith. And you see, it sounds so much like Galatians chapter 5. But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience. Kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is what? No law against these things. There is no law against these things. Some of our groups are already done with the book, first book of Numa, the book of life, the breath of life. Uh, we are going to be launching into the second book of Numa, the breath of life, and we will be studying the gifts and fruits of the Holy Spirit in detail. And how it equips our our faith life, our faith walk. But at the moment, all we need to know is that goodness comes only from God. The fruit of the Spirit is spontaneous work of the Holy Spirit in us. See, the Spirit produces these character traits that are found in the nature of Christ. They are the byproducts of Christ's control. We cannot obtain them by trying to get them without his help. If we want the fruit of the Holy Spirit to grow in us, we must join our life to his. Remember the story of Jesus, of Jesus being the vine and we are the branches, right? And Pastor Bubwe preached on that before, where as the branch, the fruit comes from the branch, but the branch will not bear fruit if it's not attached to the vine. So which vine are you attached to today? Are you attached to the good vine, which brings good fruits, or are you attached to a dead vine that will be thrown into the lake of fire? We must know Jesus and love him, remember him, and imitate him. As a result, we will fulfill the intended purpose of the law, to love God and love our neighbor. You see, we emulate those that we love. We emulate those that we do things with all the time, right? That's why when I'm really careful with getting uh, a dog, other than I've had a dog before. We had a Pomeranian. It's good that it's cute because they say that your dog looks like you, (laughs) right? So be Well, Skippy is cute. So you're all cute. (laughs) Acute though. Right? But we see, we emulate the attitudes of what we believe in, of who we spend time with. Right? So if you're spending time in the Word of God, you emulate His character. You become Him. But when we spend time in the world... We become irritable. We complain a lot. You know, we forget who we are in the Lord. 
You see, in another version of this Cherokee legend, I go back. In another version of this Cherokee legend, self the wolf of light and hope represents someone who is good and does no harm. He lives in harmony with all around him and does not take offense when no offense was intended. He will only fight when there is right, it is right to do so and in the right way. Like I said before, Satan is very cunning and he knows our hot buttons. Going back to that example when he hits us, when we're tired, we're hungry, frustrated, exhausted. But see, God gives us the Holy Spirit to be our comforter, to guide us in the way of light. Amen? In the way of life. When we're cramming for our exams, who is cramming for their exams this week? Huh? And you, have to be, you don't have to be in that party that you were invited to. The Holy Spirit guides you to stick to your studies. It even helps you recall what you have studied. A testimony of one of our brothers, and um, I don't think he's here today, was that when he was uh, concerned about this test that is, that's coming up, so we prayed, and I prayed that um, he would remember everything that he studied and then some. And then last week he came and, and shared his testimony with me that he passed his exam with flying colors. He actually, in fact, he perfected it. So now he's taking another exam to go to the, another level. It's like, well, got his faith enough for that, brother? Go for it. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Nothing is too small or too big for God. We can ask him, and as, our, as his children, he will answer our prayers. If you have had a quarrel with your spouse, suddenly, you know, again, there's that person who gives you attention. The Holy Spirit guides you to fall in love even more with your spouse instead. Amen? Fall in love once more. When you have not seen or heard the answer to your prayer, and you have that doubt in your mind that God may not show you that time and attention, the Holy Spirit reminds us that what God has done in the past, He will do again today. He will do again in the future. Amen? He brought you through before. He will bring you through again. I love the testimonies of our brothers and sisters, especially medical ones, because there is something finite, something that you can see, something that you can, you know. One of our brothers have had a condition for so many years, and then we've been praying for it for so many years as well. But then suddenly, this year, gone. Suddenly this year, there's greater favor in his life. Suddenly this year, after years of praying for it, years for praying for healing, years for praying for opportunities, suddenly God answered his prayers. God is never late, amen? His timing is always perfect. Sometimes we wish that we don't have to go through that pain, but see, through that pain, we realize God's goodness, amen? Through that sorrow, you realize true joy. Through that anger, we realize true peace. Remember, God has a greater plan for us. Perhaps everything that we are praying for will have a greater impact later rather than today. Yes, we get irksome sometimes, sometimes tagal naman. But you know what? God always hears our prayers. He may not answer it the way you want it, when you want it, but He will answer your prayers. It's hard sometimes and we're tired of waiting, but if God is good, faithful, and true, then He will make sure that we pass that exam, right? But we also have to do our best to study and trust Him in His guidance. God will help us restore that broken relationship, but we need to help build that trust once more. I remember this, um, for those who, who watch us, AD, right? I see this last uh, segment, I see um, Paul was speaking with uh, the high priest, and the high priest said that, I forgive you for believing in Jesus. Now you just come, come, come back and,